all that mud. Boots are all waterlogged. Bikes waterlogged. This is where we're uh, stashing it. We hike from here, buddy. You say, I've been hiking and running this whole time, huh? I've got a giant pack, guys. You know what that means. We're backpacking. As soon as I hop off the bike, it gets heavy real quick and we still got a couple miles to go to this spot I want to try to hit. Um, but we're looking for elk sheds. First elk shed trip of the year. <sighs> Rode in on the Baku on the uh, road for quite a ways. No idea what to expect. Super early. Um, just had to get out for a hike. So we'll see what we could turn up. It's going to be a fun overnighter solo with track man and me. Um, looking to spend maybe three nights or two nights up here. Well, I think we found where we're going to camp. On this little point, and I mean little point, drops off everywhere else. But right here, I think I could put my teepee up, move all this cow poop. Looks like there was a bowl hanging out up here at some point. You could see some droppings. Um, but yeah, I think if I put my Peaks tent right here, since it's a teepee style, clear this out, No, there'll be no rocks. I think it'll be a good spot. I don't know how far away from sheds I'm going to be, but um, I just glassed up a bedded bull with my binos way up on this slope. I don't know if he uh, has antlers or not. We'll get the pack unloaded and then put the scope on him. Camp is officially set. We're on wide angle lens. We're gonna walk in here to the Peaks teepee tent. It's got a floor to it if you want to purchase it and it uh, kind of bowls out like that. You can see there's little hooks to uh, create a sidewall. The floor does zip open if you're uh, running a stove. I am not running a stove. Um, that's my last lights stringer light, um, little LED strip, so that'll light up the whole tent tonight when I attach it up here to my dark energy power bank. So there's bed, there's food, there's backpack, there's tracker. You can see there's camp right up there. There's Ben Elk hanging out on this knob. I didn't realize how big of a drop off it is. It's like 200 feet elevation loss to get off of this point. So, uh, gonna go get water, do a little evening hike, go from there. Probably won't get much today. Uh, and then we'll just set the plan for tomorrow. I'm not gonna be too picky where I uh, get the water from. It's pretty much all runoff right now. It's pretty clear water. With uh, this much water, I like to do two iodine tablets these are super nice because then you don't have to worry about packing a water purifier all right guys we're back at camp i gotta get a fire going though to uh get my boots dry just because i got wet crossing the rivers today we'll see with all this wet wood I can get something going. I'm no boy scout, but I usually put like a base layer of little sticks and then 
get my dry pine needle. Some of these are a little green and then kind of make a teepee around it. I get plenty of wood ranging in all sizes, ready to go. This is gonna have to get uh, dried out a little bit. Hopefully I get the fire going. Here's what's cool with this little dark energy <clears throat> plasma starter. See that? You'll see it take, take off pretty quick. There you go. Tracker man just ate dinner. I'm trying to get my feet dried off, get my <laughs> both pairs of socks got soaking wet because my boots were drenched today. Alright, I'm gonna get in. <laughs> What's up, tracker? Go back. Oh, we got a party in here. Check out how cool. This last light works in the tent. Plugged in, hanging up there for my with my dark energy pack. It's almost like it was meant to meant to be. What should we eat tonight? We have two chili mac, so I'll probably eat this peak refuel. Chili mac with beef. <laughs> don't look don't look so mad, dude. I'll give you some beef jerky, okay? Tracker got his beef jerky. <laughs> He's happy. He's still begging though. Uh, this is not bad. Probably one of my least favorite ones, but that's probably why I had two extra. But we'll see. I'm in a glass first thing in the morning. See if I can see those bowls. And <laughs> Tracker's probably wondering what the heck I'm, who I'm talking to or why I'm talking. Uh, but. <laughs> Anyways, gonna glass where I saw those three bulls, see if there's any new bulls in there that maybe have shed, so I can know right where to go in the morning. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably still go up there and just try to work some different angles glass, and there should be a couple antlers on the ground. Well, there's no reason that um, I shouldn't find a shed or two today. Glassing first light, and I've seen 12 or 13 bulls now, I counted, and four of them are, are shed. shed of the trip looks like a small six point white we're about to the lair where I would anticipate we're gonna start finding sheds where the sheds will be I'm gonna drop this hoodie though it's freaking hot it's gonna be a warm day um, yeah I'm the elk are right above me so I'm gonna try to stay um, right of the elk that way I don't bump them and uh, they'll stay bedded and I can go look around where uh, <clears throat> they might have shed. I'm gonna catch flack from the coos deer lovers for saying this, but, and I'm not an expert on coos deer. I hunted them once in Mexico, private land, of course. They're still hunted though, so they're skittish. But um, I've actually been on a few public AZ coos hunts i do not think that they are so skittish and wild like uh other people try to make them out to be i can't tell you how many times i've been within bow range of coos deer and they just kind of stand there and look at you there's a nice buck kind of like the one i shot in mexico 95 incher just sitting right here 70 yards away from me just looking at me um <laughs> wasting time looking at coos deer but they are cool animals little creatures but um and pretty badass but i don't know if i believe that they're these ghosts or uh skittish animals like everyone makes them out to be a lot of them seem to like just kind of hold tight and hope you walk by them well we just glassed up 
or I just glassed up uh, a white, another white up high. I've worked up this ridge above where the bulls were last night. Um, just trying to start high because I could always go lower. Um, and I glassed up. It might be a side-by-side -side set, but definitely one antler. You can see the antler right there, tip of my finger. What are they gonna be? Hopefully hard white. Looks like a set. Old chalkers, man. Dang it. Man, this hill is super steep. It's a big enough bowl that I'd say it's worth picking up on camera. Good beams. Sweet look to him, just about four years old, maybe three, probably three years old. Sitting up here. It's four o'clock. I'm still lugging these chalks around. I went high, I went far right. Seemed like I lost sign as I went far right. Came over into the canyon, the bulls were bedded in and there's tons of tracks and poop, trails, but I've been zigzagging everything. I haven't even found one yet, so I don't know what the heck. That'll probably be it for this hillside and today it's getting late. Put a, uh, I put a down jacket on tracker, zipped it up. That should help keep him warm tonight. This ground is wet underneath, so the floor gets really cold. As for me, hoodie, beanie, and my sleeping bag stays pretty warm. I wish tracker could fit in here. My big one, he can fit in, but that's obviously not convenient for backpacking um but cuddled up now i think we're gonna try hitting low tomorrow and follow these elk tracks that are right here from camp out and see if they're the same elk that went up onto the mountain eventually i've got to look into one or two clocking out though uh day two kind of full first full day of shed hunting um day two of the backpacking trip